Maluma is one of the most popular and loved musicians in the world. Even though today he's filling arenas and flying private jets, his life was not always easy. If you dive into his story a little bit deeper, you will love him even more. Juan Luis was born in Medellin in 1994. His family lived in poverty and struggled to make ends meet. After his parents divorced and his dad's business failed, his family became so poor that Maluma, at only 10 years old, wanted to help his mother bring food to the table. So to support his family, he began making sandwiches at home and brought lollipops to sell them to the other kids at school. His mom said, he gave me the money he earned and said, Mommy, this is for milk or whatever you need for tomorrow. Family has always been important to Maluma, so he did everything he could to take care of them. Even as a young boy, the divorce of his parents affected him deeply. Those moments were extremely painful for him and made him grow up faster. I was the man of the house at 10 years old. Even his stage name, Maluma, comes from the initials of the most important people in his life and represents the love that he has for his family. As a kid, Maluma dreamed of becoming a professional football player and trained for many years before he decided to fully commit to music. When he told his coach that he's quitting football, he couldn't believe it. All my teammates made fun of me and laughed, but I said, Okay, you will see that I'm going to make my dreams come true, and one day you will remember this moment. It was the best decision I could have made. Maluma loved writing songs, and at the age of 15, his dream became a reality when his aunt gave him an opportunity to record his first song in a professional studio as a gift for his birthday. But before he got his big break, Maluma couldn't get radio stations to play his songs. So to promote his music, he did more than 300 shows for free. And not everyone believed that Maluma will become one of the biggest stars in the world. People used to laugh at me. They thought that I wasn't going to make it. But I realized that the only way I could live a happy life was making music. And he was right. Maluma became one of the greatest musical icons in Colombia, Latin America, in the world. The boy who sold sandwiches and lollipops to survive, performed for free more than 300 times and was told he was never going to make it. Today, he is filling arenas and has millions of fans around the world. So remember, don't limit yourself and don't let other people tell you what you can or cannot do. Let them laugh at your dreams. Just don't forget to believe in yourself when no one else does. So, what's your story?